Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Warzone Subsistence. Uh, we are here uh, looking at a little bonfire over there. There's a road camp and they're too close. We can't be having that. They're encroaching on our territory. So yep. um, I have been preparing, if I can get down the ladder, some stuff for our BCU crackers that we're going to need. We're going to need three in total. We have one complete there and almost one complete. Just need a few more ingots for that one and then we need a third one. Uh, obviously we're going to have to build up the power and the mass to uh, get those going. That's going to be a task in itself but I thought if I can prepare all the components get them ready then at least we're sort of getting there. Uh, we do need some more gears. We have 23, we need 30 and we are going to need some more crystal. We have two there and we have 11 just finished refining. So, we, yeah, so another trip down the caves to get the final bits of crystal and then it's just a case of circuit boards and stuff for the third BCU cracker. In the meantime, however, we'll, we can go and get the rogue camp which will hopefully at least give us a couple more gears and I thought we might have a little trip out today, uh, a de-stressing trip after the caves and see if we can find some more iron and copper uh, because we're going to need lots of it. Um, Did you bring your antidote with you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get infected. <laughs> Very amusing. Oh goodness. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, what was I saying? You oh you you came up with a little challenge. You you decided it would be a good idea uh, because well we wanted to make it fun. Well, grinding for resources is never fun. Oh, you saw that iron too, huh? Because uh, <laughs> <laughs> we need iron for ingots. We, I think we need what like twenty nine ingots or nineteen ingots or something something insane and. We need road camps. So I was thinking if you and I go out on a day, don't get, like, even though we get Ortastic, it, that's not going to count because that's a massive cluster of iron, but scattered about everywhere, a little iron nodes. So whoever would get the most amount of iron that day, uh, the next day when we find a road camp, that person, whoever lost or got the least amount of iron, would have to go and fight the rogues and literally... Oh, I was just with equipped my shotgun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you failed. Have to do it with an axe. You failed. There's no gears on that one. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see about this one. <laughs> yeah, I failed because I totally missed that. Hey now. Hey now. <laughs> oh, there's st still four, four of them. So. Yeah. How did how did we just shoot one if there's still four? Mm. Yeah. Well, this dude's got the right idea. Came right <laughs> at me for an axe. Can't see my health. Yeah, I can't see my health. <laughs> I got my speaker in the way. Oh, I have 25 <laughs> health. Oh, that's not good. All right, I'm gonna go hang out by the campfire here and get some health and not use a bandage. Oh, they were. But what do you think? You like the idea of good. that challenge? We can give it a try, uh, but I hope the rogues that we find on the way round are going to be a little bit more productive because not a single one of them had any gears. Oh, that's not good. We're gonna have to do some serious rogue hunting. Yeah. I was surprised though the miners in the cave were dropping gears. That was pretty cool to see. Nope, not a single gear. Got a medicinal tonic, a fish oil, a fuel brick. Um, some copper, some 11 potassium of course uh, did get some cloth but um, not any gears alright this bleed's gotta stop, <laughs> I'm down to 9 health I, it doesn't look like you gain health when you're bleeding, I'm down to 7 health no no I'm as standing as you, by the campfire but I, I, I think standing by the campfire uh, stops the bleeding sooner but as long as you're, as long as you're bleeding you're going to lose health um, 
kind of intrigued that we were both in the fight there and I didn't lose any health and you nearly died. Yeah. <laughs> Well, if you look at my video, I was surrounded. So I got, Cause I shot, I tried to shoot the dude in the head and I missed, so they all aggroed on me. But that yeah, and I like got behind the most narrow tree on the whole map. Excuses, <laughs> excuses. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, fine, I suck. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I do have a, a bleed symbol on my screen, so I'm guessing at some point I was hit, but um, oh. uh, clearly not, not very much. I'm also keeping my eye open for cotton. Uh, Tis the season to be cottoned. That's true. I did forget about the cotton. But I think if we do that, because it looks like the sun's setting, so it's going to get low. Um, I definitely think if we do that challenge, it's got to be like in the daytime. Or we can make it difficult and do it at night. Ooh. Hmm. Uh, no. Now, granted, it wouldn't be very entertaining for the viewers because y'all wouldn't be able to see anything either. <laughs> yeah. No. So. Oh, come here. Pick the damn rabbit up, you silly thing. Um, no. I don't think doing it at night would be kind of fun for me or my viewers because they would see me running into rocks. <laughs> um, you don't happen to have a lockpick on you, do you? Unfortunately, I wish I did. Yeah. Right, where did that? I boil my water. Where did that deer go to? Over this way somewhere. Looks like it's gonna rain. Yeah. Uh, don't need zinc, do we? I don't think we're good on zinc. I don't remember how many tanks we got, actually. I think we're okay on zinc. Maybe. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Where did that deer go? Um, you know what you said about rain? Yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised, man. It's uh, five rogues in that camp. I don't think I've ever seen five rogues. Well, was the first one definitely a rogue? I. That's a good question. We we'll have to look back at the video if he had short sleeve or long. I don't know how a hunter would be down here. Well, hmm. he did look. He did look quite lost. So, I wonder if it was Alpha's fisherman that couldn't find his way home or something. I have to check back on the footage. Alright, one deer down. And no cloth. Hmm. I feel positively diddled. So, uh, how much iron have you got? <laughs> I'm looking at this boar swimming. <laughs> <laughs> you do realize no, the penalty for failure, don't you? Well, we need a full day for doing it. It's like the day is coming to an end now. Oh, well, uh, you didn't stipulate like a time constraint, so I'd already started. Oh, well, see, I said it earlier. <laughs> like, if we're going to do that, we got to start in the daytime. We get a full day's worth, because, I mean... Either way, we both win because we need the iron. So it's a full day of just going out and grabbing iron. Oh, I hear a shotgun. Yeah, just a wolf. He was in my way. Alright, I'm gonna head on down to Ortastic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you also said Ortastic doesn't count. I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm going to put here in the edit. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we get Ortastic, right, that's not going to count because that's a massive cluster of iron. Ooh, cotton. Awesome. First cotton plant. And it's cotton, actually. Nice. Ah, I don't know. I'm a little nervous now. 
Yep. The loser has to strip naked and run into a road camp. I seem to remember that was the penalty you applied. <laughs> yeah, I kind of actually remember saying that. It's a good thing I said that when we weren't recording. <laughs> you speak for yourself. <laughs> I'll find it on my recording somewhere. <laughs> Gotta get you back for that last episode edit. Ah, oh, that was. I had so much fun with that. <laughs> it was really well done. I was quite, quite impressed. And so when it when it came up, I thought, oh, he's yeah, he's speeding the video up, putting some music on it. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. Yeah, that works. That's how his video is so much shorter than mine was. And then you put my quote in like it was like that was quite amusing. <laughs> And I actually put on my video just after I'd said it, uh, me and my big mouth. <laughs> it's just like yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing I will always have going into those caves. And if I don't, then I'm seriously asking for trouble. I just, I can't hit those bats for the life of me. No, can't they're terrible, it. aren't they? Really, really hard to hit. Now I'm starting to take cold damage. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, road camp. In the dip, the far side of Autastic. Okay. Well, that'd be good because we need the oars. So, do you want me to meet you down there? We can take them out. Uh, yep. You can. I'm getting cold damage, so I'm going to, have to make it quick. But, um. I'll meet you underneath Autastic. In the dry. Okay, I'm on my way. Or do you want to hold off? Because it's going to get dark and our viewers aren't going to be able to see it. Um, well, you could do, except this guy is coming directly towards me and it seems to be raining under Autastic. Yep, he's seen me. Doesn't seem to know how to get to me. Looks as if their pathing won't allow them to come under the arch. Oh. That's interesting. Hmm. Ah. I think he found a wolf, unless that was you. Nope. Oh, here's copper. Wait, we don't need copper. We got like over 200, don't we? I thought we had a ton of copper. Um, no, I don't think we've got a horrendous amount. It's just about to get pitch black. Yeah, I gotta head back. <laughs> oh, well, there you go, guys. Yeah. It's, um, that's worth remembering. If you're being chased by rogues, run under the arch at Autastic because they can't pass under the archway. Okay, hmm. can't see a thing. It's cold. Yeah, are you heading back, are you? Or are yeah. you coming out? You're not coming over. I figure we can get them early in the morning. Uh, they won't. I think they'll have moved by then. Though. Oh, you never know. I can barely make this guy out. But That's another won't. thing is I won't be able to see him. He's not shooting at me. He's just running backwards and forwards, like on the edge. Wish I could see better. Cocking his weapon and running around like an idiot, but. Oh, now he's shooting at me. Oh, two of them, huh? Would you like to just you stop? Doing alright over there? Well, I'm just waiting for him to stop running. Taking any. Oh, there we go, never mind. There's a bear. It wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for the rain. Where did you go? There you are. Uh, that one had two gears.
That one has one gear. Nice. Now, and unfortunately, oh, I can make a shotgun shell. I was going to say there's um, uh, a wolf took out his his buddy around the corner somewhere. I'd kind of like to find that one. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Okay, I am not in a good place for rutting season. No. I got it. Oh, hey, the rain stopped. Look for that. Strangely, I'm still wet, even though I haven't left the arch. Well, I maybe kind of have, but um. Let's see if I can find his buddy's body. And level two wolf. Cool wolf, I don't need you. Two gears off him as well. Don't really want to shoot another wolf. Continually taking damage here. I'm gonna have to. About getting in the water. We're gonna be warmer. Unfortunately, the, uh, the fire has gone out in the rain, so I can't cook up the steaks that I'm carrying. Ooh. Can't even see where the fire was. Yeah, I'm taking damage, so I'm gonna start coming back. Okay, so spit your iron out on the floor so I can count it. Okay, okay. Oops, wrong button. Twenty. You cheat. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. You cheat. I'm sure you must have cheated. Nope. Okay. Okay no then. All right. Here. All right. Before we put that away, then. Okay. Let's do this bit as well. Let, let's. 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 All right. Spit out how many gears you've got on the floor. <laughs> uh, hold on. Let me. Uh... <laughs> no, 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 no cheating. Yeah, that's mine. I'm not cheating. <laughs> okay, and there's mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Let's Funny that there was twenty, twenty-three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think we want to get into that, do we? <laughs> yeah, here's the cotton I found. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <It's> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's uh, funny. I think I still think you cheated though, because while I was hiding under the rock waiting for you to come to assist with the road camp, you were out gathering iron and left me to fight them all on my own, and I got five gears out of it. So I, I think I, I think I won that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're like half right. I mean, if you if you'd have if you'd have actually <laughs> if you'd have actually stopped getting iron and come and assisted me with the road camp, we'd have still got five gears, but you wouldn't have won because you wouldn't have got the iron. So I, I consider. Well, I wanted to hold off on the rogues till the yeah, morning. I, I, so I, can, viewers see the fight. <laughs> I consider I won. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll go after the rogues with an axe. I don't mind at all. Okay. All right. Onwards to the cave, good yep. sir. Oh, there's a pearl down there. There's a bunch of pearls. No. No more shinies. <laughs> uh, thankfully, we've got them all, so that, uh... You and your... Ooh, shiny. There you are. There you are. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, this time we're going to be aggressive with them. we got to go after them. Hunt them down. Got to be rough with the rogues. And they need to give us the gears. We needed just two, you said, correct? I think it was two. Yeah. Ooh, it's a pearl on your left. Jiny. <laughs> yeah, this I'll should be nice and quiet down here. Should be a really quick trip. Um, I think it was seventeen crystal and two gears. I think. Well, that's good, because I just realized my pickaxe is, like, half durability. Yeah, mine too. Well, mine's 
Ooh, oh, wow. Two crystals right over two here. Two crystals there, yeah. And a mushroom. Mushroom! Need to power up. Oh, yeah, we did leave a couple of antidotes, don't we? One of those. Do you have okay. your protein bars in there? there uh, yeah, we did leave some in there, yeah. I just grabbed a okay. couple because I only had four on me. So. No, I they're, I believe six. they're all yours because I have 16 on me. From oh, right, okay. The ones I brought back. Yeah. Oh, hello, Rogue. I see seeing you here. Where did he come from? Where did he, did he go? How did that miss? Where did he come from? I do. Don't reload in front of me, dude. What are you thinking? <sighs> <laughs> Just standing out in the open reloading. Alright, no gears, unfortunately. I'm gonna grab this coal yeah, because you. after watching the last video, I'm not convinced. I mean, the, the one you did where you just couldn't find any crystal, it was totally empty. I, I think, maybe, like, it either spawns as coal or it spawns as crystal. So if you don't pick up the coal, you reduce the chances of, of getting a respawn. Because the game sees it as still being there. Yeah, it's like a chance of respawning as coal or crystal. Yeah, I, I'm beginning to wonder, because I was shocked in, in your video where you ran around the cave and there was just nothing. It's just completely empty, but yeah, then that's... you weren't picking up the coal. So it kind of made me think, well, maybe if we pick everything up, it'll force the game to have to respawn. How's Let's your pickaxe doing? Uh, it's about 90%. Okay, all right, because uh, you might be having to get a bunch of this stuff. That's weird, finding that rogue or that miner all on his own. Yeah. I'm wondering if perhaps their fire and the others have spawned within the wall. Oh, that wouldn't be very good. Yeah. Oh, there's some uh, more crystal down here. Can I open for this bat? Oh, such a waste of shells, but get away, bat. Oh, you found it, did you? Yeah, I got one of them, yeah. I ended up using two shells on it. Oh. And the crystal looks like it despawned. Oh, uh, well, I did just pick up a crystal. I don't know if that was the same one you saw. Of course, the rogues could be up in the gallery. And uh, maybe that dude had pathing issues getting back to his camp. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, I'd... found the rogues. <laughs> oh, found some crystal okay. too. Oh, so you're over by that crystal. Okay. Ow. Shoot me through the gap, swine. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's alright, I've got two of them, but, um, the third one was being a pain. All right, I'll grab their bags. Just let me know if you need nine millimeter. Hey, there's our gear. Okay. Cool. Um, I'm all right. I've got uh, well, a total of twenty-one nine mil, twelve arrows. Okay. Uh, nine rifle and um, uh, that's about it. Oh, shotgun. Five okay. shotgun. So. And as I said in the last video, if that's not enough, we shouldn't be here. And it wasn't enough. <laughs> we, we really shouldn't have been there. <laughs>
Uh, let's see. Wow. Coal over here. Yeah, my pickaxe is gonna be breaking soon. Okay. Uh, but I've got seven crystal. Uh, I've got eight. And Twenty-seven ore or coal. Uh, I got eleven. Oh yeah, that's my coal ratio to crystal. Okay, okay. so on the left side, further back, is the other road camp. Yeah, I, oh, that's you down there. Yeah, I'm just behind you, so. Um. All right, dude, you're gonna reload? Nope, you're not reloading. You need to reload. <laughs> reload. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, he's doing. Oh. What did I? Nice. Nice. Wow. And okay, so we got three gears. Did make me bleed, unfortunately, but. Well, hopefully there'll be other. Um, I've got one cloth. If you've got one, I give you one to make a bandage. Uh, I'm okay. I've got bandages, but I uh, just try not to use it. Well, here I don't mind using them because usually the miners have cloth and the bats have a fantastic amount of cloth. Yeah, I'll, I'll, if it doesn't stop bleeding, I'll use it. Well, it looks like there's a to miner right. stuck in the wall. Uh, there's one on the hill to your right. Last the mushrooms. Okay. Stop walking, dude. Oof. Oh, I just burned. Uh, let's see. I got this. I could shoot him. Will you wow, stand four still? years, dude. Some range on that. Yeah. Just running around all over the shop there. It's like any time you'd like to stop, you know. All right. So unfortunately, that's it for the rogues or the miners. But we still have yet to run into the bat. Unless, have you taken out one? No. No, I haven't. Okay. Seen yeah. That so yet. there's still one around. I just realized something. Mm -hmm. Miners don't have shoes. <laughs> Sometimes the, um, uh, the the lengths your brain takes to make a comment <laughs> <laughs> never ceases to amaze me. <laughs> well, I just I just see these feet. I'm like, wait a minute. I I mean, if, when you it's walk like, and they walk, you you hear shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Miners don't have shoes, and and they eat rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Right, I'll just leave my water there a sec. I'm going to have a quick look around. See if I can disturb Oh, you're good. I'm grab this stake when it's done. There we go. See if we can find the bat. I think I got like one more ore left in this pickaxe and it's gonna break. Oh, right, okay. Um, I'll just go back and get my water and I'll catch up with you. Yep, you're good. Oh! Oh, wow. Okay, two more crystal down here. Alright. Um, I'm gonna hit it as much as I can. 
I don't That's want it. the uh, <laughs> I, I don't want the the, res the respawn to happen and and take my water with it. down here and that should be all the crystal we need that was strange I only hit it three times it showed a full bar and it um, exploded on me but it still gave me full crystal the first one yeah yeah cuz I hit it twice and then that's oh, when my right. pickaxe is about to go Oh, another one just appeared. Oh, there's a bat. All right, he's on you. Good job. I'll make you a bandage if you need. No, I'm good. Okay. Fortunately, that time, a little sod didn't get me. Um. Okay. No. Wow, lots of coal. Yeah, man, yeah. this cave's got definitely a lot more stuff, but in groups, this cave is great. But in solo, this game is really tough, or this this cave is tough. Mm. Well, and you play hardcore as well, so it's the, the spawn limit, spawns are turned down in that. Are they? Yeah. I was seems, wondering about that. Seems like you predominantly were getting three crystal on the very few crystals that you found. But in normal mode, you predominantly get four, and only rarely do you see three. Hey. But I, I think uh, also the uh, the nodes themselves spawn less frequently in hardcore. Same as loot bags. Stupid hardcore. <laughs> That's your choice. <laughs> nobody, <laughs> nobody forced you. No, but I just, I don't know. I, I like the challenge behind it, and it's... It is fun. It, it is frustrating when you die, but it can be. It is really, really fun. Except on normal, when the hunters are on normal, then it's just panic yeah. and stressful. And I, I would happily play hardcore as a matter of course if it wasn't for the losing everything on death. I mean, I, I do get, yeah. I do get the whole. You know, it should be harsher, and um, you know, lose lose more stuff. Like if if you're losing thirty percent on normal and seventy percent on hardcore, or you know, that w that would be fair enough. But to lose everything on death, I think I would classify that more as extreme mode, not hardcore mode. Oh yeah. But my problem is I don't have a pickaxe, so I'm just kind of hanging out here doing nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna head back to base. Uh, I ended up with seven crystal and thirty-five coal. Um, oh, got another I'll bat. Get the mass. Ooh. Another bat. I was kind of hoping they. I'm bringing him to you. Respawn. All right, I'm going to jump in the water because he should disengage. Yeah. It's only a level one, so. Oh, oh, Ooh. Alpha Bravo again. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, uh, we're gonna need to get back. Uh, where's the hole? There it is. I'll grab my uh, gear. Oh, if I can get out, get out the water. I'll head back so I can maybe distract him somewhat. Yeah, I'll follow you up. That's the same thing that happened last time we were in the cave, last episode. They attacked both at the same time. Yes. Yeah, the timing is obviously set. Okay, very nice. Oh, somebody's... Oh, is that you topping your fire up in there? So tw I got 24, yeah, it, it 24 crystal. Okay, I got seven. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so 31 crystals, so that's definitely enough. Okay, so I have crafted another six um, circuit boards. And as you can see, uh, in the lathe where I'm accumulating all of this stuff, we've got to wait for the crystal to be refined, and then we're just going to need another ten ingots. Um, which is going to be a total of uh, ten ingots is a hundred iron, I believe. Yes. Right. Yeah. And, and fifty fi copper. Fifty copper. We've got plenty of copper. It just needs refining, but we are really short of iron. So we can either go out and graft for the iron to make the ingots, or we could go and see if our neighbors have got any. I think. I'd like probably, to hit it because we do have a lot of grenades that need arrow that need I, using. Yeah, I mean, and we've got spare crystal now as well, so um, we need premium, premium arrows. Anyway, um, I think my preferred method would be uh, Alpha and Bravo have hit us twice now while we've been away from the base. So I think in the next episode we should go and see if Alpha and Bravo have got any ingots they would be willing to donate to our cause. Absolutely. And if we do Alpha first and then Bravo, if we need to, we can then use Bravo's power and mass and workbench uh, to craft anything that we might happen to be needing. Yeah. That sounds like a plan. And hopefully to me. they have like six ingots, like three apiece. That'd be either three or four apiece. That'd be fantastic. Yes, definitely. Um, now, uh, very, very last thing we have 76 biofuel. Uh, not a lot. What I was thinking was, um, I think we should craft another generator. And here's why. Um, because we're going to need a lot of power and a lot of mass to build each one of these BCU crackers. And the um, mass fabricator takes two and a half power. And we can only generate two, plus the solar panels and things. So having three generators means we could build power and mass at the same time. We're just going to need a lot of biofuel. So you're up for killing a bunch of stuff? Hmm. That's the way I'm leading. <laughs> yeah, because uh, we just have to make a bunch of shells because it doesn't look like we have any in here. So I've got eight shells on me, two in the chamber, and six for backup. Um, uh, I've, I've got two. Okay, That's yeah. We just, I mean, we got a lot of gunpowder and casing, so we can make a ton of it. Okay, that's that's me all filled up. So, I think with that plan in right. place for the next episode, and a road camp right outside our base... You want to get that real quick? You just give it dark, that's the problem. It's very difficult for the it's viewers to up. see. Um, it is morning, so I think what we're going to do is, on that note, we're going to end the episode here. Uh, I had a very long episode last time, so this will be a little bit shorter, and then in the next episode, we'll go and whack that road camp, because they're in the way. We'll hit Alpha, grab a load of stuff, hit Bravo, grab a load of stuff, use their stuff to craft stuff, and then come back here and offload said stuff. Nah, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I think I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed that little uh, sprint around, um, well, places. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what more can you say? I mean, we sprinted around places. <laughs> uh, yeah. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Look after yourselves, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.